Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the red this morning as tensions in Eastern Europe persist. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.34%, S&P 500 futures down 0.99%, while Nasdaq futures are down 1.94%. Ericsson's startup 5G program's client base has grown, as AT&T becomes the first U.S. service provider to join the program. The startup 5G program is looking to pursue opportunities in the $3.7 trillion 5G consumer market and support the development of go-to-market strategies for targeting opportunities in the 5G consumer space. Their innovative 5G program will grant AT&T access to more than 40 global startups. By tapping into the innovative 5G program, AT&T hopes to bring new consumer experiences to life using augmented reality and virtual reality technologies. The Ericsson stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 45%. Global renewable energy company SPI Energy has announced plans to upgrade their manufacturing facility in Sacramento, California. They'll be upgrading the California facility with the latest technology and increasing the existing solar module manufacturing capacity to 1.1 gigawatts by the second half of 2022. Their CEO said that the state-of-the-art solar module manufacturing facility, which combines California's highly skilled workers with machine-to-machine -machine connectivity, will feature a high degree of precision automation and continuous improvement for manufacturing PV modules. With just one analyst rating, they are rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 260%. Zero Emissions Vehicle Manufacturer Line Electric has entered into a partnership agreement with Cox Automotive Mobility to offer rapid support to Line Electric's customers in the United States. With 25 maintenance service centers, more than 1,000 technicians, and nearly 800 mobile service trucks in the field, Cox Automotive Mobility's expertise is expected to provide an efficient avenue for Line Electric customers to get rid of their vehicular problems. This is expected to be complementary to Line Electric's network of experience centers, which serve as a local hub for maintenance, distribution, training, and education on electrification. The Lion Electric stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 116%. The Dutch antitrust regulator is suing iPhone maker Apple for the fifth time in successive weeks over access to non-Apple payment methods for dating subscriptions. The ACM has accused Apple of misusing its monopolistic position to stop software application makers across the Netherlands from using alternative payment methods for subscribing to dating apps on the App Store. The ACM has asked Apple to make changes to its App Store effective January 15th to allow alternative payment methods at lower commission rates. Following this, the Dutch watchdog has been penalizing Apple with fines of up to 5 million euros every week. The Apple stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 15%. And Kroger Company and Kitchen United Mix have joined forces to open a kitchen center in Houston, Texas. Customers will soon be able to order freshly prepared and on-demand meals. The Kitchen Center allows customers to place orders digitally using Kitchen United's proprietary mix platform via the web, mobile, or an in-person ordering kiosk. Orders can be picked up on-site or delivered to preferred locations at a fee determined by third-party providers. The Kroger stock is currently rated a hold with a slight downside of 2.2%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. We have some big names reporting in the after hours today, including Virgin Galactic and Teladoc. 
Already in the pre-market this morning, we heard from Home Depot, who came in with better than expected results for their quarterly report and said that they seek sales growth for 2022. The home improvement retailer said they expect earnings per share growth to be in the low single digits and sales growth to be slightly positive in the coming fiscal year. For this quarter, they reported earnings per share of $3.21 versus the $3.18 expected and had revenue of $35.72 billion versus the $34.87 billion expected. They're currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 23.5%. Also this morning, we heard from Macy's, who also came in ahead of analyst expectations. During the holiday period, the department store chain said it brought in roughly 7.2 million new customers. They had earnings per share of $2.45 versus the $2 expected and revenue of $8.67 billion versus $8.47 billion expected. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 42.5%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Digital World Acquisition Group after the launch of Donald Trump's new social media platform, Truth Social, launched yesterday on the App Store. Trading under the ticker DWAC, the stock is currently up over 17%. They're followed by Houghton Mifflin under the ticker HMHC. The stock is up nearly 15% in response to takeover news by Veritas Capital. And Dillard's under the ticker DDS. The stock is up nearly 12% following their fourth quarter and fiscal year results. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Yandex. The Russian version of Google has been quite volatile following their earnings report last week and tensions in Eastern Europe. Trading under the ticker YNDX, the stock is currently down over 13.5%. They're followed by Ozen Holdings under the ticker OZON, the stock's down nearly 13%, continuing their negative momentum from Friday. And Russia's largest mobile operator and leading provider of media and digital services, Mobile Telesystems, under the ticker MBT, currently down over 11%, again in relations to those Eastern European tensions. So that is going to be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.